Hello everyone, my name is Cora and today I am going to go over all of the frequently asked questions about Wellbutrin. I have been on Wellbutrin for five months now. Uh, I am currently taking the generic brand, uh, I'm currently taking the generic brand called Bupropion and I'm currently on the 300 milligram extended release. I started five months ago on the lowest dose of the extended release at 150 milligrams. I started taking that once a day and I took it for three months. At the end of my three months, I felt like I could benefit from upping the dose. So I went to my doctor, talked to him about it, and now I'm on 300 milligrams. And 300 milligrams is also known to help with ADHD and that's another reason why I went up the dose. And today I'm going to go over the top 12 frequently asked questions I've received on my YouTube channel. I have a video that is a one month update video that has about 10,000 views. I also have a three month video, progression video, uh, and along with the first week of being on Wellbutrin, I uh, did a personal vlog every day. So if you wanted to go check out those to see a real cut of the things I went through the first week, you can go check it out. The first question I get asked all the time is about insomnia. <laughs> A lot of people have trouble just falling asleep when you first take this medicine. It's pretty typical to have insomnia with this medication. It's one of the top side effects of Wilbitrin. And what I noticed the first two weeks taking it is that my mind was just racing. My mind was just thinking about everything all day. And at the end of the night, I just just couldn't take, get myself to go to sleep. My mind was just going crazy. Um, unfortunately, I didn't really have trouble falling asleep. I just, my mind was just awake and it just wasn't tired. Uh, so I would stay up until 1, 2 o'clock every night and I had to get up at 7 to go to work every day and I did it, I did that for about, uh, about two weeks, two, three weeks. I had insomnia. So it was quite just annoying more than anything. It didn't affect me too much. Uh, the second question is, um, about seeing dark figures and that's actually one of the known side effects of Wilbutrin uh, is having having vivid dreams and also seeing uh, dark figures like kind of when you're in between sleeping and, and you're awake um, when your brain is still in sleep mode uh, you may see some dark figures and just know that they're not really there so just close your eyes and just kind of shake them off they're not gonna hurt you. The third question is about anxiety. Wellbutrin is known to increase your anxiety so if you have severe anxiety or if your anxiety is crippling uh, I would not suggest Wellbutrin. It does increase your anxiety. Luckily for me it didn't increase it that much. To me it really helped me balance my anxiety because I feel like my anxiety and my depression kind of went hand in hand. Um, so I do notice it every once in a while, but it's not something that keeps me from doing my, uh, you know, everyday life. Along with anxiety, I would say that it goes hand in hand with uh, being tense and uh, being like on edge and being very quick to anger. Um, I noticed the first two weeks I was just like really tense and I just like, I don't really know how to explain it. I just, I was just really tense and like if anyone said anything that I thought was wrong I would just get pissed for no reason um so if you're a female and you go through PMS you can understand like when you're going through that time um just anything can, can just like just fire off and it's uh it's crazy but that went away lasted about two three weeks it went away but um I felt like I was able to manage it because I was self-aware of that going on when I first started, I did notice that my appetite was gone, and I feel like that's pretty typical with these kind of medicines anyways. Um, so you just have to be aware of that and just make yourself eat. Um, it's not that I was nauseous or anything, I just kind of forgot to eat. Maybe because um, my mind was just on 
you know, doing his own thing and just racing, I just forget to eat. Um, with that, I did notice the first month I did lose a little bit of weight, maybe five pounds, um, but I went up and down, back and forth all the time, so I didn't, I haven't lost really much weight, uh, if, if any, none, I haven't lost any weight. Weight loss isn't typical for this drug anyways, so I would be surprised if anyone like lost a lot of weight on that. Another question that comes up a lot is alcohol tolerance. And I will say that my alcohol tolerance has gone way down. I can have maybe two beers and I'm feeling it. Uh, so you have to be really, really careful when you're taking this medication and um, you're, you're drinking. Just be careful when you first start taking a medication. Um, you know, maybe cut your drinking into like a quarter of what you used to drink. Just drink at a very low pace. But just pay attention to what your body is telling you. Cheers. One thing I did notice that wasn't on anything that I looked at, any side effects, was that um, around the third month, around the third month of my uh, first dosage of 150 milligrams, I noticed that my hair was falling out at, uh, at an extreme rate. It wasn't anything that was super noticeable just from looking at me, but I would just finger comb through my hair and like uh, I would have lots of strains of hair just falling out. Uh, I noticed a lot of it in my shower. It was pretty bad, um, but now it being five months, you can actually see. You can see that I have a lot, a lot of baby hair. This is, well that's not baby hair. You can see that I have a lot of baby hair coming back. This is all baby hair. Uh, and it's, I have a lot of hair coming back. So that's really good. You can kind of see maybe this up here. This is all baby hair. So just, just letting you know that uh, if you're experiencing hair loss, it does come back. So don't worry. <laughs> And it's actually kind of annoying because I didn't realize how much hair I really lost until it's coming back and I can, it's like a lot of baby hair. Anyways. Um, and I would say like almost number two question I get asked a lot is uh, about your sex drive. Uh, does it increase your sex drive? I think a lot of people get that mixed up with uh, the amount of energy that you do uh, experience when you first start this. And you know, you can do whatever you want with your extra energy. Uh, I use mine to just be more productive and to just get out and do things. Um, I personally have not experienced increased sex drive. Uh, I'm a single female and I maybe I'm just working too much. Uh, but it's just, it just hasn't affected me in that way. Um, but if, if it affects you that way, that's great. Uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope you all um, like this video and I hope it helped you. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave your questions down in the comments. I do have a closed Facebook group. Um, I will leave the information down below as well. If you want to join, just head over to Facebook and join the group. I have about 45 people in that group who all started from this YouTube channel. So everyone there knows me from YouTube and um, all of them started Will Be Trend and they're either still on it or they had different experiences and they had to get off of it. Um, but a lot of people use this group as a support group and I hope that it helps you. All right, bye. <laughs> Bupropion hydrochloride. Bupro Bupropion hydrochloride. Bupropion hydrochloride. Bupropion hydrochloride. Bupropion? And I am currently taking the generic brand called Buprotrin. <laughs> Bupro Bupropion? I don't know how to say it. Um, Bupropion? Right. Shit. No. Bupropion hydrochloride. Bupropion hydrochloride.